Alright guys, got this pile of blanks here. These are all for our good friend uh, Rye Eserm. These are going to go to Canada. These are all, uh, actually these are for me. But these are all uh, best lookalike blanks. A, G, uh, what are these? E, Kiwi. I like this. They put the they put their part number on it instead of uh, you know, whatever. So these are all for him. I uh, got these Master UP. These are Master 3 UP padlocks. I got them at work. Uh, they lost the keys years ago. Um, There's no codes on them. Uh, one person thought they might be able to be rekeyed, but I don't know if that's possible. Probably just going to have them impressioned. I was able to get one of them picked open. I'm still working on the other two. Um, if you're not familiar with that, I can uh, post a link to another video that I watched. Basically, uh, the lock comes unpinned. You use a special tool. Sorry, lock comes unkeyed rather. Use a special tool to put a working key in and it shears off the pins um, to fit your key. Then I got a lot of stuff here from eBay. These are two Yale cylinders, three Sergeant uh, Schlage, excuse me, and two Corbin along with the best. Uh, this is a five pin cord that I was able to pick out of the housing. Uh, there's a cabinet lock housing there and just uh, assorted trim rings and cash box nuts and things. And the one thing I noticed, you see the tail piece is upside down, so I'm not sure what application these are being used in. Um, but the five pin core makes the whole lot worth it, and it was only about 15 bucks for the whole thing. So, going to uh, leave these as is, since they're in pretty much new shape. This Yale probably needs to be rekeyed. These keys are worn out. Uh, put the tail pieces on the right way on those schlags, and uh, make some get some keys made up for that uh, best. I believe that's it guys. As always, thanks and check out keypicking.com.